taking a look at Romans 7, the most argued chapter among theologians concerning the Apostle Paul, whether or not he wrote that after his conversion, or he was talking about the good that I would, I do not, the evil that I would not, that I do, that he was referring to his present condition after his conversion, or if it was before his conversion. And many argue that that was Paul, the Apostle Paul, talking about his present condition, and that the good that I would, I do not, the evil that I would not, that I do. If I do that which I do not, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. That is not the confession of an Apostle. That is not the testimony of Jesus Christ in a man of God who was ordained by Jesus Christ. The people that argue, the ministers that argue against this, have been ordained by men. They're taught these precepts that no one can be completely saved from sin, all sin, dwelling sin. They deny the power of Christ, and even when Paul says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new in Christ. Now, the difficulty is that there are people that are ministers that cannot grasp the spirit of holiness, the power of the Holy Ghost, when it comes upon an individual and purges away the dross and the sin through the blood of Christ. Jesus said, it is finished. And when he said that, his salvation was the grace of God that came to every man, teaching every man, teaching every man to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts, to live holy and sober in this present world, looking on to the great appearing of Jesus Christ our Lord, looking for that, because he will say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. He is able to keep us from falling. The power of Christ. And Paul says, when I am weak, I am made strong by his grace. His grace strengthens me. Therefore, I take pleasure in tribulations and persecutions and so forth, because when I am weak, I am strong. So get it together. If you think that sinning is the normal Christian activity, and that you can just, you know, nobody's perfect, then you're going to be on the left side when Jesus says to those on his left, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. The good that you would, you did not, and the evil that you would not, that you did.